my Incredibles uh, live live cast of this uh, game between Nil Esports and uh, Utility or something. What's the name? Utility Squad. Utility yeah, welcome squad. back. Uh, we're back commentating another Nil game. Uh, this time they are scary. And today they are facing off against uh, Utility Squad, a German team. This is true. Um, uh, this will be our first time commentating on the nuke map, which is going to be interesting. Oh my god, it's that guy's name with the X. So we're just going to call him XEQ, right? Yep. So it is. And then Feeder is the first one in the other team. Alright. So yeah, this is this is going to be our first cast for the Hungarian team of um, Next In Line Esports. We commentated their international lineup yesterday, who sadly lost uh, in an insane comeback from Aim Cats to beat them in overtime. It's a very impressive game. It was a very good game. Not for the esports, of course, but to commentate it was banter. Of course, of course. The uh, the longer the games go on and the more exciting rounds and more there is to each round uh, means it does make it more interesting for us to commentate. So, all right, they're all getting in now. So that is scorched. Scorched and Feeder are two of the Hungarian players. Do you know the exact roles they play, Fred? Uh, uh, yes, I do. So I do not know much about what roles the utilities will be playing. This is true. But for uh, Nil Esports, uh, Nonsense will be their AWPer, Scorch will be their in-game leader, Cruelly is their lurker, Tot is their entry, and Feeder is their support player. Okay. I think I think then we'll have to see... Uh... Like nuke, it doesn't really lend itself to being an AWPers map, but if yeah, uh, yeah. if nonsense can get something going with with an AWP, it would very much help Mill Esports to take this game. Definitely, definitely. I mean, you'll see see uh, how he uses the AWP in general, what kind of player he is. Yeah, this will be our first time seeing him play. So uh, this will be our first time seeing any of them play. True. So it'll be interesting to get a grip on like what kind of team this is. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, I'm I'm excited to see them. From what I've heard, is they're a, they're a pretty decent team. Tot is joined, and that is their entry fragger, if I remember correctly. Yep. Um, I think like obviously a lot of the riflers will be very important. I don't know who who'll be considered to be their star player. You know, they're like their best player because it doesn't say, but I guess that would either be their Lurk or it could be the Orpa of course, but um, on Nuke, maybe their Lurk player will be the most important because a good Lurk on Nuke can really get something uh, going, you know. Definitely, definitely. If he's able to get to those uh, tricky spots and uh, catch other players off guard, that'll definitely uh, really help them out in this game. 100%. Also, obviously, an entry is always always important to go off in each game because if an entry goes off, it makes it very easy for you to get into any sites. It normally means you don't have much opposition in the way of getting into them. So, very important on T side. But um, depending on uh, who wins the uh, knife round, though, we'll get to see who picks what side. And uh, CT side is very important on Nuke. Uh, because it, it's normally where the, you get the majority of your rounds. Uh, yeah, it is quite a uh, CT-sided map, do give. Yeah, especially for um, especially for like uh, lower level teams at the pro level, uh, T side has become significantly more important. Uh, while strats have evolved and got better and better over time, uh, but uh, especially at this this kind of level. It is very, very important to um, to have the uh, turn the net graph off. What's the command for that, G? Thank you. There you go. Alright, 
There we go. Leave. Yes, man. Alright, I got it. Uh, we are just waiting for the last uh, Hungarian player to join the server. Um, and after he has joined, uh, we'll be golden. So, uh, so we we did see uh, with some of the stats that the um, utility squad have actually played in the ESA Open before, and they won six games and lost ten. Am I correct on that, Fred? Uh, I'll be checking now. But uh, if that is the case, it's not. They they don't. They're obviously not going to be the best team, but they will definitely put up a decent fight, which will. Uh, Hopefully, make an interesting game. Obviously, having the experience in those like uh, those more high-pressure situations, uh, as in something like the o Open or just other tournaments in general, is very nice to have, especially when you're coming into a, a tournament again. It does it does seem like um, the last nil esports player has joined, which is Curly, if I'm correct. Or Cooley? Is it Cooley? Curly. 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 Yeah, Curly's right. All right. Feed and Nonsense, Curly, Scorched, and Tot are the players on the team. Yeah. And... Um, for the uh, utility squad, um, going to their league history, season 35, they had 6 wins and 10 losses. Interesting. Season 34, they didn't appear in season 35. Yeah. Interesting. So yeah, it'll be it'll be interesting to see uh, if that has any effect on this game, if they're a bit more confident because this isn't their first time playing in uh, such a tournament or league structure. I hope the uh, the auto direct is good this game because it's really hard to direct and commentate at the same time. So, so we didn't have too many problems last time. There's only one time where it rested on a corpse. For, like, for, for like half a round or so. Well, for about 10 seconds until I clicked the mouse and then had to reset it. Alright, we are getting into the knife round now. Um, this obviously decides on what team uh, gets to choose what side. And uh, it depends. We'll, we'll just see. We have uh, no intel on uh, if uh, any team has favoured sides on Nuke. So... We'll see. It, oof. it does seem like uh, nil esports will win this, and they do. Um, I imagine they're going to choose CT side to get they off to a good team. start. But no, they chose T side. Interesting. Interesting. Um, that must mean they're very confident in their T side. So. Hmm, really interesting start. I'm interested to see what they can do, especially on this pistol round, if they're so confident to pick into it. Hmm. Alright, let's, let's get underway. We've got four seconds until the round starts. Alright, we jump straight into it with uh, one player on the nil esports side with a smoke uh, and a flash. He will be going to this outside area. He is getting some flashes thrown his way. None of the utility... Only one of the players on the utility squad has bought armor. They are living up to their name. <laughs> one of the utility squad. Curly comes in and gets two kills, and Feeder also gets another. Allstream just tra trade one back on Scorched, but they will get a clean bomb plant down. Yeah, nonsense plant. Nonsense has planted on the bomb site. All stream and uh, ingest are still just waiting outside, waiting for the smoke to fade so they can both peek simultaneously. All stream is trying to get some, and he does get one kill, and he spots one from behind the site. He also gets a second, but he is traded. And oh, lovely round there from Curly, dropping a 4k to make that round happen. I just think that was some that was some doggy play that they managed to win. What do you think? Definitely, definitely. I mean, 
Bit of a messy round, but it's a pistol round. It happens. But uh, Curly definitely made that round. He really no question did. about it. Played excellently and got the headshots that his team needed. All stream going out, throwing a nade. Uh, they have all far. been spotted outside, and now they will have this A site for free. Nil esports just planting the bomb, and they do know where all of the CTs are. Utility squad just trying to wrap around to see if they can get any picks or anything into this round. Yeah, Slacker waiting for the smoke to clear to see if he can get a pick or two. This is true. He might be able to spot Scorched. Scorched just spotted him first and will take him down. And Tot takes one down from heaven and now they know there's all stream is there. And the trades go through. Nonsense Curly and Tot just getting the last three kills to make the round nice and clean. Yeah, with zero casualties as well. Excellent. Perfect round from Nil Esports. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, they certainly seem to be off to an okay start. This is true. Let's just see how they can keep it up. This utility that they've got is going to be really important coming into this round. The buy of um, Utility Squad isn't bad. We'll have to see it's how they do bad. on this. They've got all streamer uh, with the scout, ingest on Mac 10, and the rest of them with all rifles. That nade does do a little bit of damage from all stream onto Scorched and Curly. He has, the smokes cover them nicely though, so he's not able to get a shot at any of them at the moment. Edgy does get taken down by Tot's Molotov, trying to push through the smokes. He and does get traded out though. Yeah, Ingest gets traded by Curly. Tot's looking for a fight and he will find ETS and he will take him down. They... They have got the bomb Curly down. Curly gets the bomb down and gets into a position. He will. He will try and challenge the the guy on ramp. The one in Sicko Invent has just got destroyed, and Curly gets a lovely shot on all stream to make that round happen. N not the cleanest of rounds, but it's not a bad one since you didn't have to buy Mac Tens into it. Definitely, definitely. And they've all got an upgrade on their weapons now, so this will be good for coming into this round. Utility Squad have gone for a uh, middle to low buy, and we'll see what they can do. They do seem to go for this uh, anti-eco strat again from the nil esports guys, and they will just go on to B without much resistance at all. They do take a little bit of damage through the smoke, but... Scorch gets one, gets another. Ingest and ETS have both got kills on the B site. Ingest is trying to trying to fight, but they've thrown a smoke up. But he has managed to sneak through it, and he does get the kill on nonsense. And they know where Feeder is, and they've mollied him out of position, and they do take him down. Not it was a very good um, retake there from uh, Utility Squad. Yep, and that's their first round to Utility Squad. It was a very important round to get a, a, a round on the board and put some confidence into Utility Squad to know they can do it, especially on an anti-eco. Very important round for them to win. And look at their economy now. They have a lot of money. They're not doing too bad. Um, Allstream, I'm assuming that he is indeed their author, has finally got his hands on up. And the rest of them are all on rifles now. Um, Feeder, Speeder, sorry. Uh, Neil Esports have gone full AK. I see this. Yeah, this is a this is a pretty regular strategy to go for on this T side since the orcs aren't that effective. But on CT, you can really get an orc going. Yeah, we'll see if all stream can make any use about this orc. Yeah, that would be very important. Feeder might spot ETS there, and he does get him creeping through the smoke. That gives a large advantage to uh, Neil Esports there, doesn't it? Nil Esports still seeming to go towards this outside area. Utility Squad just holding crossfires on this A side. They only have one player on... They don't have anyone on B. So Nil Esports might be able to get this for free. As I say that, Ingest decides to start rotating. Curly will catch Edgy off guard and takes him down without much of a fight. Tot has already got deep into this site. They don't know the guys on ramp. Oh. Scorcher gets one. 
on Sticko or uh, Slacko. Slacko, sorry. All Street does get their first orb kill though and takes down their first. Uh, he is traded by top ground. very fast. Yeah, there's only one left. Ingested is in a very tricky position. He does get one though. He's got one on Monsons, but he's dropping off, trying to see if he can save this gun or maybe catch them trying to rotate off. But they would be staying put until the bomb's closer to uh, closer to exploding. Todd does seem to be lurking around the back, but I think he's just trying to save his AK. And Nilly Sports will just rotate off the site and make sure they keep their weapons. Ingested will also do the same. Yep, they're staying very cautious about the fact that Ingested is still alive. Yeah, they so, don't want to give away yeah. any of those weapons. Yeah, no, Ingested wasn't able to get a pick off any of those, and that's another round to nil. Indeed. A very important, very important round crushing the majority of the economy of a. Uh, uh, utility squad apart from the two that had the huge amounts of money which still do now and this um, this full armor AK raid boss is going to be uh, important to watch out for for the uh, Nilly Sports side so they don't get caught off guard oh. <laughs> Scorch does get a lovely kill on all stream on the outside that was an excellent headshot there especially through such a small gap Indeed, it really was. Ingested is dropping back to a more safe position. Seeing if anyone's going to come to be or not. Um, Feeder has disconnected from the game, so we will we'll probably have a pause after this round. This has given some confidence to Utility Squad, who just get a kill on Curly. But Nilly Sports try not to be phased by one of their players timing out uh, Scorched has managed to get down onto this B site without any contention so maybe he can get a successful lurk going hopefully nonsense currently has the bomb and he's still quite close to T-spawn yeah he seems to be coming back see Ooh. if he can regroup with Tot if Tot can catch Slacko off guard and he does and he does get a nice little headshot there Slacko looks like they're going to try and go Slacko getting a bit too greedy to pick up that AK, and now it's yeah, all Ingest up to Ingest. Yeah, is kind of stuck at B right now, with Scorch still hiding around. Hopefully this clears up A. Oh, he does He does uh, hear his footsteps, and Edgy gets killed through the wall of the, uh, of the vent, putting Ingested in a very difficult position. Vida has managed to reconnect, which is a good thing. He will be pleased that his team did not lose off the back of him disconnecting. And Jest is just going to concentrate on saving his uh, gun here. There's no point. Yeah, there in really isn't it. much else he can do in this scenario. Nonsense might meet him, and he's going to catch him off guard and take him down. And he does, and that's the win. Yeah, and Jess is not going to be too happy about that. It would have been good if they were able to at least keep the AK. Yeah, it's not but that it they was... don't have the money, but it'd be nice to have that one headshot potential, wouldn't it? Definitely. But yeah, that was their eco round, though. Indeed. So now all streams back on the orb with the rest of them all able to get rifles. Uh, Utility Squad will have to watch out since no esports are building up a pretty big economy right now. They don't want them to run away with this. Especially if they have a strong CT side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, if they lose a round or two, that won't damage their economy too much. So that's going to be... That's going to put some pressure on the utility squad. And most definitely. This AWP holding the outside angle right now, and there is a bit of... Well, they do seem to be setting up towards the outside, but these smokes should just make him obsolete. As they do get the yeah, bomb. Yeah, has gone get and grabbed the bomb, and he's going to be moving up on the outside now. Oh, and they do catch Edgy off guard. Tot gets a nice headshot, but ETS will get two in, in trading. And also Allstream gets Tot, who's lurking around. Curly does manage to get that kill, but takes a lot of damage in the process. Oh my god, Feeder and another. Curly gets another kill. 
and they will they will decide to go yeah, towards Wolfstream's B. Wolfstream's up top, they managed to shut him down from heaven. If this goes well, Wolfstream will think that they've gone for an A plan and they'll sneak on down to B. They do manage to get the the B plant down, and now all stream is left in a very difficult position, and he should just save the orb here. Uh, yeah, he will just save the orb. He picks up. Yeah, the you kit. really don't want to be losing this right now, especially when your economy isn't in the greatest condition. Yeah, uh, especially yeah. the orb because it's such an expensive piece of weaponry as well. So. Another successful round for Nelly Sports. They'll be happy they managed to keep their their hands, their gra a grasp on this round because it felt like they might lose. Yeah, it. no. Utility Esports did a quite a good job shutting them down temporarily. Yeah, indeed. But Curly it, and Feed they, it, they took happen. like a lot of them down very quick. Yeah, very, yeah, very quick succession. But um, yeah. uh, Utility Squad will be forcing into this round, so they won't have the greatest amount of nades, but. They will have full weaponry. Two yeah, they're going to really want to get this one if they want to start boosting their economy again. We also get to see Nonsense use the AWP for the first time. Yeah, this is going to be interesting, especially on a T side. They've gone for a fast A push. Oh, and they do take one down on the entry, but all stream trades one back with the AWP, but he won't be peeking. The no, they've thrown down. a molly up there to hopefully push him back. The bomb will go down uh, towards this... Uh, garage side. Oh, nonsense does miss that shot. He does flash them, but ETS is going for the push, and he does tag him low, he but he doesn't manage to kill doesn't, him. doesn't quite make the kill. All seems going to go out and peek again to see what he can get. So he's in a good position. Oh, oh, one. Lovely shot or, there. Doesn't quite make the or down second. to Scorch, and he does see him heaven, and he does manage to get that double kill to make the round happen. Yeah, well, very God. well played from Scorch, that was a tricky situation. Indeed. Nil Esports just managing to make these rounds come through, even in the most like difficult situations. Yeah, no, we again, as we mentioned earlier, we haven't seen these guys play before, but from what we're seeing right now, they are a pretty solid team. Indeed. <clears throat> Seven one up, they have quite a lead. This is an excellent T half already. Normally, uh on Nuke, you wanna be aiming for like five rounds uh, on T side, but They've got seven already, they will be pleased. Yep, this definitely proves their worth, having picked a T side over. Uh, Ingest does uh, get a nice kill on top there, flanking around the back, and he does try to fight with Curly, but he will drop off, taking a couple bullets. Nonsense on the marshmallow outside, seeing if he can get, uh, seeing if he can find anyone. Same with Feeder. But utility squad after that first pick of playing very passive. Or oh, ETS does get taken down by Scorch there. To make this round even. Yeah, Nantes is working his way back up. See what he drops the bomb. He doesn't want that right now. He's trying to go for a pick, so he doesn't want to give away the bomb's position. Definitely. Edgy is edgy and um well, we got Edgy waiting on uh, A site right now. Oh, Scorch oh. gets another lovely headshot on Ingest there, waiting in the ramp. Nonsense, throwing some flashes and smokes into this A site. Scorch has got a clear path onto B, and he is throwing some utility. Curly waiting patiently outside of A, about to throw a bit of utility before he goes in. The, there will be one on heaven, and he does get spotted and taken down. Monson get, uh, getting another, a, a lovely double entry there, and Scorch spotting him coming up, edgy coming up through the vent, and just bangs him right out. That was a, that was almost a perfect round there from Nilly Sports. Almost, almost. Only taking Curly as the casualty, but again, not too bad overall. Their economy is still steady. Indeed, it, it, they do. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, their economy is more than steady. That. They're loaded right now. Yep. Unlike this um, un ugh, fucking utility, utility squad. squad, utility squad team that has very little in the way of money. Especially if they lose this round, they'll be on an eco again. Yep. All stream again. They've all got four rifles with all stream going at the up again. That takes quite a bit of money. Yep. And 
We'll just be seeing a slow start to the round from Nil Esports. They do seem to be wanting to go for this outside setup. And they, uh, they've thrown the smokes, but they're not going to push behind it. It's more of a, a decoy for, so they can go to go through the inside to another and It's side. working so far. All streams throwing a nade into the smoke and is now currently watching to see if anyone peeks out. They will be going towards this A side. And, but the mollies are really holding them back. Feeder does spot the one in heaven and tags him to 1 HP, but he does manage to get away with his life. He's still going to be a danger with the AWP in his hands. They've all, they're all moving very fast, B now. Scorch getting the entry on uh, Ingest and Curly getting a kill on uh, us. Yeah, Feeder moves into B side, getting a headshot immediately. And then Scorch gets another entry on Edgy and. <laughs> all streams gonna want to see that. Down, leaving all stream with the open on one HP. He's gonna be running away very fast to see if he can find a spot to hide in. I'm not sure if they know how low he is, but they might be slightly annoyed that they didn't kill him if they find out he was on one HP. Let's go annoy them a little bit. But so far, it's been a fairly clean round for Nil so far. They haven't yeah. taken any casualties yet. And there's nothing all stream can do except for try and protect this orb and see if And now they one. know where he is too. They know he's tagged. And they hold oh, the nade's gonna wreck him. He's dead. Yeah. <laughs> no orb for no orb for them, I guess. Yeah, that's gonna be a bit of a punch to the gut the utility squad. Really is. Like that was the only thing they had going into this round and their money is not great. Yeah. They can I can definitely it. understand wanting to get a pick whilst they're running on the way out, but because he's on such low health, it might not have been the best idea for him. Yeah, I, I think I think he was stuck between a rock and a hard place because he was he was they knew where he was and he was fucked. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. Feeder just come out and get a double entry. A it tends to be successful so far. He uh, just has managed to get a kill. goes down. So does Tar. It's, oh, a lovely oh. double spray down there from Scorched. And the, just that round was insanely fast, but Utility Squad Very would, quick. wouldn't be too disappointed with that since they did get two kills on an eco. Yeah, no, now they can get back. Allstream has the AWP again, they've all gone for rivals. Look at the money for Nil Esports right now. They Yeah, we've got nonsense back on the AWP and everyone else on AKs. I don't ah, think... Ah, no, except for Feeder, who's got an M4 that he picked up last round. Yeah, he also got some double entry with it last round. Very impressive. Yeah. Um, th uh, I will mention, Nil Esports cannot not have a gun round by the end of this half. They have so much money that they will have a gun round every single round. So this is going to be very difficult for Utility Squad to build any like momentum. Because they will be against uh, full guns the entire time. But another slow start from Nil Esports. Curly being tagged down to half HP, but nothing really coming of it. They are setting up the outside smokes. Nil Esports gaining full outside control, and Top will get the entry on uh, Stiko. ETS getting another double kill, but does get traded by Curly. And they do spot one on top of the hut, and they do trade him. Now, one is in heaven, and one is in ramp. Yeah, it's currently a 2v2, and Ingest isn't on the greatest amount of health. True, he's one bullet from death. I feel like and they'll go, like, go towards uh, B here. Yeah. All stream. Oh, yeah, he, he's he's trying to find some information there, isn't he? And there isn't much he can really do. This will give uh, Nil a fairly clean opening into B. They do plant the they do plant the bomb with not much time left, cutting it a little bit close. But all stream and ingest are too scared to go for this. Yeah, from the looks of it, and that's definitely not. I'm not sure whether it's the wrong choice, but it's given Nil plenty of time to get this bomb down. Yeah. And again, their economy isn't the greatest, and they still have an AWP. So it might be a better idea if they save this. 
They are going to, yeah. I, I, yeah, they're going to see if they can catch a few on the way out. I don't know if it's, um, like, I don't know if it's not... I wouldn't say it's the best idea to go for this round, but at this point, you need to do anything to get anything going. But I don't know if they have the confidence to do that right now. Yeah. Since they have just been demolished on 11 rounds, basically... Yeah, 11 row, to but... 1. That's got to put a lot of pressure on you. Especially when your CT side is meant to be more successful. Yeah. We'll see me and again. Uh, Nil didn't pick uh, T side for nothing. Clearly, it is their strength. True. I think this goes for both uh, Nil teams. ETS getting caught out outside again. Fida just reading him like a book. He knows he's done that a couple rounds in a row now, and they're trying to get something going on the uh, utility squad side, but they can't quite make the right play. Which is, I think, quite ironic, because they're not using utility very effectively to get their players into good situations, are they? Yeah, no. I mean, partially because they uh, assume that they don't quite have the money, so they're going for better guns over utility. Yeah, but if your name's Utility Squad, I think you should probably be... You know. Oh, I 100% agree. But it looks like they've lost faith in their utility for the time being. I the irony is is killing me. Ulfstream does spot <laughs> the just, for, the, for, the, for the time being, they're just going to be squad for now on. <laughs> Ulfstream does does spot um, uh, Curly getting down into lower, so they will know there's going to be some B presence. Yeah, Ulfstream is still um, hanging back. Oh, and Curly does get a, a lovely lurk kill, and Tot also gets an entry, making this B site nils. And this retake is way worse on this round than it was on last. And there you go, Edgy's dead. Curly gets another. And no. again, we're not in touch. It's going to be interesting to see what uh, Allstream does, because they don't, again, he's got the AWP again. Their economy isn't the greatest. There's not much they can really do. No, he's just going to have to save the orb, to be fair. Like, there's nothing else he can do, is there? Yeah, having to save the orb so many rounds, it's definitely going to have to kill your confidence a little bit. Yeah, true. Especially if he gets killed here by Tot, which he won't, because he doesn't spot him. He looks away at the wrong time. This flash might yeah, get him. Yeah, but now they all know where he is, though, and if they can kill as they do... Yeah, taking away that orb, so now yeah, they have nothing going into this round. Yep, they're just gonna have to ego again. No, they will stream gets back on buy. the orb, but actually no, it looks like they're gonna force. They don't have the greatest of buys, but they might be able to get something going here. I will say Curly is having a lovely game so far. Curly's been having a good game. We did mention earlier, uh, Curly is their lurker, and uh, we said that having a lurker on a nuke is definitely gonna be very helpful. Yeah, all very and important. Cody has definitely proven off. that so far throughout this game, being very important to a lot of these rounds. Indeed, he he's really been making it happen, um, and that's all that all that you can really ask for in a lurker. Oh, Top does catch all stream outside, and he's going to be very sad about that. He is traded by ETS, but if you're the Orpa there, you should not be missing that shot. Yeah, and. Ingested does get a lovely double headshot there, killing Curly and Scorched. Vida does expect to flank, and he does catch one off guard. And he spots... Oh my god. Oh, he, he turns... Ingested. Oh, that's unfortunate. That went from a 2 to 4. But, to um, a 2 to Now a 2 to 1. Oh my god. This this round could go either way right now. Yeah, that changed very quickly. That went from a 4 to 2 to now a 1 to 1. So ETS is tagged. Nonsense uh, has decided to keep the AWP in this situation and he's going to go and plant on this B site. ETS will get the info from the uh, the noise from the smoke and he's climbing down the vent now. The door that he wants to go for is smoked. But he will make some noise. Nonsense, not Looks taking like the bait. Oh, and he just wrecks him. There was nothing to that. Yeah. I think the... Uh, who was who that last one alive? ETS? I think he outbrained it himself was a little ETS. bit there. Yeah, he was on um, 
41 HP, which isn't the best, especially in a situation like that. But it wouldn't have mattered, he had the AWP anyway, so if he was yeah. on 100 HP he would have died. Um, I just think he outbrained himself by opening the door and then, like, waiting a second and going out. Like, he, he should have just went somewhere else. Yeah, no. Okay, Nil Esports do get a nice double kill, but Utility Squad are just just getting aggressive because they have nothing left and it's not working at all. Yeah, they're really trying, they're getting aggressive to see if they can make something happen, just at least get a few kills here and there, but it's really not working. There you go, that's the round. The, they the managed aggression. to take two of them down, but again, there doesn't wasn't matter, much does they it? could do. It really wasn't. It really doesn't matter. Very, yeah, very three. good half. Very successful. 14 to 1 for nil esports. Indeed. They're going to be very, very happy with that. Especially if they win this pistol round, I don't know if it's possible for them to lose the game. True, true. But then again, we said that last time with the <laughs> aim Nats, and then we saw that come back. This is true. You never, you never know. Utility squad might only know how to use til utility on T side. If they come out, if they have a four utility comeback and win with ninety percent utility, that's going to be amazing. Yeah. But at the but... moment, the current situation, it's uh, the wind is blowing the Lee Sports way. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't imagine that there's any possibility that they could uh, lose this now. But we'll we'll just have to see coming into the uh, second half where Nil Esports will be on the CT side and Utility Squad will be on T side. The only thing that I would be worrying about if I was a uh, Utility Squad is um, how little confidence you have left. You know what I mean? Nope. At that point, that kind of mentality just crushes all of your plays. Whether you get a bit too rash and like play it too aggressive just to try and get something going, yep. or whether your aim starts to fail you a little bit, that can really break a team. Yeah. And we will be getting into the second half. The match is live once again. Utility Squad living up to their name, buying everyone apart from one player on Utility, which is the opposite for Release sports, they've only got one on uh, utility and uh, no armor. He does have a diffuse kit, so if he plays on one of the bomb sites, he can definitely help out his team quite a lot here. ETS trying to line up a smoke for inside. They do, they do seem to be wanting to go towards this A position. I think I've practiced this strat before. Actually, it's a, yeah, it's one, it's one for the B rush here. So the smoke lands perfectly there. You throw a flash, so the other guys can't even spray for it because they can't see anything. But Tot has Tot rotated Tot's down one fast. On B, takes one down. And you will know the bomb was planted behind default. It gets a lovely he little headshot another. there. Feeder does get killed from behind, but Curly will be aware, and he does attack the guy in control room. But he does get traded from ramp. Scorched and Tot on this with uh, Feeder diffusing and ETS gets taken down and that's match basically that's match point for uh, nil esports if yep. if I was on the team of um, I don't even want to know what the utility squad I don't want to know what they're feeling right now the pressure must be unreal I just think it's depression at this point. I think the pressure's yeah. gone. You're just like, ah, oh, why am I still here in this game? Yeah, but there's not much they can really buy. No, there's not really much they can do even here. They've all got utility, so they might be able to set up a set up a strat or something here. Um. They do seem to be playing it slow. Nilly Sports not playing too aggressive here. They're just going to wait for Utility Squad to push into them. They just know there's no need to get overconfident. They're just going to take this game with a simple strat of just playing simple, honest Counter Strike. Yep. And that's a good mentality to have, uh, personally. Especially when you're this far ahead, there's no need to rush. 
just any time of the week. There's too. been everyone, every trade has been even on this A site. Yeah, making it a two v two. Tot is the only one left on the site, and he does get one, and he will get the second, and that is game. 16-1 for Nil Esports Hungary. Very yep. impressive. Very, very impressive. Just making sure everything that they needed to do on T side and CT side was clean and perfect. And I will say they did get a bit of luck in their clutches, which their clutches were on point that game. But Yeah, no, their clutches have been very good. Whenever they've been in a tricky situation, um, each one of them has shown the capability to just make it work. Yep. Especially Curly. Curly did very well that Curly, game. Curly, I'm pretty sure Scorched had some nice clutches. Curly and Scorched, yeah. And was there... There was one more, I think. I think Tot was very good at entries. He, his entries are very important on that game. I'm pretty sure he is the entry fragger, right? Yeah, Tot is indeed the entry fragger, and he did a good job. He did, indeed. Um, we didn't say a lot of... Uh, nonsense on the AWP, but I think that's because, like we like we mentioned at the start of the game, it's not really an AWPers map, especially on T-side and obviously yeah. the majority of the rounds were played on T-side that game yeah. for uh, um, nearly sports. Yeah, we didn't see too many AWP kills thrown, but even when he didn't have the AWP, he still managed to just do what needs to be done, and that's all you want. Indeed. So, that will be our cast for today. It was a very successful game for nearly sports. Well done to them. Uh, I think Utility Squad should just go back to the drawing board, watch the VOD, and just decide from there where they go with this team. Um, yeah. I don't think the team's necessarily that bad. I feel like there's some talent there, but they just need yeah, to no. get back to the drawing board and just practice a little bit harder. Definitely. Again, there wasn't anything... They, they never seemed particularly bad at one point. Some no. of the strats they used weren't that bad either. It's just that I think just the moments when it counted, they just couldn't quite make it. No, not at all. And I will say the the better team was nil esports completely. So yeah, they had that game hands down. I if if I was a utility squad, I wouldn't be too disappointed. I would just practice after that quite a lot. But I think that's a, that's a good place to end the stream. Thanks for watching. Um, do you have any last words? Uh, no, particularly. Um, congratulations, nil esports. Um, this has been Zach115 and Fredible uh, casting a game of Nilly Sports versus Utility Squad that ended in 16-1. Uh, thanks for watching.